This is NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards WWG24 operating at a frequency of 162.425 MHz. This transmitter is serving King County in Washington. The current time is, 5.10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. These are the 5 p.m. observations. The National Weather Service in Seattle has issued an earthquake warning for the following counties slash areas, King County in Central Washington, Kitsap County in Central Washington, Thurston County in Central Washington, Mason County in Central Washington, and Pierce County in Central Washington at 5.10 p.m. on July 20, 2028 until further notice. The earthquake is measured to be at a magnitude of 9.7 on the Richter scale, which will make it one of the most historical and deadly earthquakes in U.S. history. The earthquake will happen within the next three to five minutes. This is considered to be a very dangerous situation and must be taken very seriously. Anyone within a 300-mile radius of the earthquake's epicenter, the Seattle area, must drop, cover, and hold until the earthquake ends. Source, radar indicated. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Repeating, an earthquake warning was issued for your area. Take cover now. Hey Dave, I heard about something that will shock the entire world, especially the United States. What is it? Due to Seattle's 9.7 magnitude earthquake, the Yellowstone caldera is supposed to erupt within the next week. Oh. My. God. And will spew out volcanic ash on all of the Pacific and Mountain time zones, most of the Central time zone, and very little on the Eastern time zone. No way. What do we do? We should contact the President immediately. Yellowstone will erupt next week? Okay. A National Information Center statement will be issued shortly, and then a volcano warning, immediate evacuation, and EAN will be issued after. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service, the United States Geological Survey, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, and the United States government. Residents in the Pacific, Mountain, and Central Time Zones must evacuate now as these time zones are in extreme danger. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. Due to the recent 9.7 magnitude earthquake in Seattle that happened a day ago, it has triggered an eruption of the Yellowstone caldera. Yellowstone will I in fact, blow up. The supervolcano is expected to erupt within the next week. Do not panic, I repeat, do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse than it already is. You currently have one and a half weeks to evacuate to the East Coast, and if you live in the East Coast, seek shelter when the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts. The last time the Yellowstone supervolcano erupted was about 70,000 years ago. When the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts, you must seek shelter, ration food lasting for up to at least two weeks, and refuge until all the volcanic ash is cleaned up. 
When evacuating, take all necessary equipment like food, water, medical supplies, your family, your possessions, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio for your journey. This is an extremely dangerous situation, and all areas within a 625 mile of Yellowstone National Park can voluntarily evacuate, but it is recommended to do so now. Evacuate now. Do not wait. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government and the United States Geological Survey. Residents within a 625-mile radius of the Yellowstone National Park evacuate to the east coast immediately. A volcano warning has been issued. This is not a test. The Yellowstone caldera is expected to erupt within the next five days. The volcanic activity in this volcano has escalated to a point that the western, mountain, and central time zones are in extreme danger and are unsafe. Evacuate now, although not mandatory, residents are advised to voluntarily evacuate to the east coast. Do not wait, do not hesitate. Evacuate now, or face certain death. Again, a volcano warning was issued, and all residents within a 625-mile radius of the Yellowstone National Park are advised to evacuate. Do not wait. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. A mandatory evacuation has been issued for all areas in the Pacific time zone, mountain time zone, and the central time zones. They are in danger, and all areas within a 100-mile radius of the Yellowstone caldera will be apocalyptically destroyed instantly. The Yellowstone caldera is expected to erupt within the next 20 hours. You have time to evacuate. Do not panic and evacuate at an orderly manner. Evacuate now. If you are unable to evacuate, local authorities will evacuate you to the east coast by plane or vehicle. Take all necessary equipment like food, water, medical supplies, family, and possessions. Do not pick up relatives in schools, nursery homes, and offices. These facilities have their own procedures and will be perfectly safe. Again, evacuate now. Your life will depend on it. Shelters are currently being set up by the authorities and the National Guard. If you have no food or water, shelters will ration food and water for all evacuees. When in a shelter, refuge in the shelter for at least 14 days after the eruption. When volcanic ash has been cleared if it had affected your area, it might be safe to exit the shelter, but at this time, evacuate now and refuge in a shelter for at least 14 days. Evacuate before it is too late to do so. If it is too late or too far to do so, seek an underground shelter. If no underground shelter is available, then try to stay at the lowest floor of a building, like a basement. If nothing is available, protect yourself at all costs, but if unable to do so, prepare for your final moments. If you are religious, pray to your higher being or beings, and repent. You are dying for the greater good of the human race. Remember to evacuate.
Civil Danger Warning The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the United States Geological Survey. The Yellowstone caldera is expected to erupt within the next 30 minutes. It is too late to evacuate. You might face certain death due to not evacuating to the East Coast. The volcanic ash from the eruption will blanket the atmosphere, which will block the sun for weeks, months, years, and even decades. The eruption will cause climate change and strange weather patterns. Do not try to evacuate now. Seek shelter immediately and gather necessary supplies like food, water, and medical supplies. Repeating, the Yellowstone caldera is expected to erupt in the next 30 minutes. Seek an underground shelter immediately. More information will be available soon as this situation develops. We interrupt our programming, this is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification requested by the White House. All broadcast stations will follow activation procedures in the EAS operating handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States or his designated representative will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. This is an emergency action notification. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air providing news and information to the public in assigned areas. This is WABC-TV. We will continue to serve the New York metropolitan area. If you are not in this local area, you should tune to stations providing news and information for your local area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the New York City metropolitan area. Do not use your telephone. The telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. The following message is given authorization to be played to the public at the request of myself, the White House, and the United States government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. The Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted, spewing volcanic ash all around North America. Areas within a 100-mile radius have been destroyed out of existence, and all areas within a 1,000-mile radius will expect to have volcanic ash at least a few feet deep. My fellow Americans, this may be a dark time for us all, but we promise to rise and remain strong always. But for now, we are forced to live during these times. A day after the supervolcano erupts, it will be expected for multiple strange weather patterns to occur. Excessive heat will occur in the southwest. Heavy rain will occur in the southeast. Bone-chilling temperatures, blizzards, and excessive snow will occur in the northeast, volcano eruptions and tsunamis in the northwest, and massive tornado outbreaks and thunderstorms in the Midwest. These weather patterns are expected to happen for a year. These may be some imperfections, but we promise that it won't stop us. God bless America. <laughs> 